Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show to you how to derive the mean, the variance, and the moment generating function for the negative binomial distribution. As you can see here, there are two forms of probability mass function for the negative binomial distribution. The second form can be derived from the first form using the transformation uh, y equals to x plus r. So what we're gonna do first is to derive the mean, the variance, and the moment generating function for the first form, then derive them for the second form using that transformation. Let's now derive the mean for the first form. We know mean is equal to expectation of x, and expectation of x is equal to summation of x times the probability mass function. In this case, we're gonna use this first form. So we have r plus x minus 1 chooses x. Then this is p raised to r, 1 minus p raised to x. And this is x equals 0 to infinity. So we're going to write here x equals to 0 to infinity. If you try to observe carefully, when x equals 0, this whole term will become 0. Because this is 0 times these terms will be 0. So it is safe to change this one from x equals 0 to x equals 1. Now, uh, I want to get these terms and try to simplify it. Let me have x times r plus x minus 1 chooses x. Then, I, I'm gonna expand the one with the combinatorial term. So, I have r plus x minus 1 factorial over r plus x minus 1 minus x is r minus 1 factorial. And this one is x factorial. We know that definition of x factorial is equal to x times uh, x minus 1 times x minus 2, etc. until 1. But this one is, these terms here are x minus 1 factorial. So we have x factorial is equal to x times x minus 1 factorial. Also, we'll try to use that for r. We will have r factorial is equal to r times r minus 1 factorial. r minus 1 factorial, therefore, is equal to r factorial over r. So we're gonna substitute our results to this equation. We have x times r plus x minus 1 factorial over, for r minus 1 factorial, we will use this one, r factorial over r. And for x factorial, we will use these terms, x times x minus 1 factorial. We can cancel out x because they are common for numerator and denominator. Then what we're left with is r times r plus x minus 1 factorial over r factorial and this one x minus 1 factorial. This one is also, these terms here, is also equal to r plus x minus 1 chooses x minus 1 because r plus x minus 1 is here. r plus x minus 1 minus x minus 1 is this one, r factorial, and this one bottom is x minus 1 factorial. Now, we can use now this term here in place of this term here because it is equal to this term. They are same. So, we have mean is equal to summation of, so we're gonna use this term, r times r plus x minus 1 chooses x minus 1, then this is p raised to r, then this is 1 minus p raised to x, and this is x equals 1 to infinity. Now we can move out r from the, from the summation because it's a constant. Now in order to simplify this, uh, I want to use the fact that the summation of a probability mass function is equal to 1. Let me rewrite it in here. Summation of uh, this one. r plus x minus 1 chooses x. p is to r. 1 minus p is to x. x equals to 0 to infinity is equal to 1.
please take note that this one is not same this one because this one has an x and this one does not have an x so this is a property of a probability distribution that summation of it from uh, the domain where it is applied or applicable is equal to one if you are doubtful for this one i have a video uh, which shows how to derive this one and uh, for the negative binomial distribution so you can check out the link uh, that i have provided in the description below so now let's continue uh, I, I want to make this one uh, similar to this one but as you can see there are there is a x minus one here and this one is only x so i need the transformation of variables not only for the x uh, but also for the r so let me have a transformation of variable and let's see the results afterward so y equals to x minus one and let me have a q equals to r plus one so let me have mean is equal to uh, r the constant that we have moved from the summation then we have r plus x minus 1 is equal to r is equal to q minus 1 we have q minus 1 and then x equals to y plus 1 plus y plus 1 and then we have minus 1 so we have this negative 1 plus 1 is 0 so we have q plus y minus 1 so we can put it here the r plus x minus 1 is this one so we have q plus y minus 1 and for the x minus 1 we have this y and then p raised to uh, r r is q minus 1 so this is q minus 1 and for the x we have 1 minus p raised to y plus 1 because this one is y plus 1 so now this one is because we have transformed x to y we need also to transform this x into y so when x equals 1 this is 1 minus 1 then y equals to 0 so we have y equals to 0 then infinity minus 1 is also infinity now they are almost same aside that this one is r and this one is, is q minus 1 so we need to transform it to make it similar to this by factoring this one out we have p raised to q and p raised to negative 1 because q plus negative 1 is q minus 1 and this p negative 1 can be moved out from the summation leaving p raised to q which is similar to p raised to r similarly we are gonna use it in here also we have 1 minus p then this one is y and 1 minus p then this since y plus 1 is equal to this one y plus 1 then it is okay to factor out like this one and 1 minus p can be moved out from this summation because it's a constant now let's do that now we have equal to r then let's move out the constant so we can use this one 1 minus p and the constant here over p then we're gonna write the summation this is q plus y minus 1 choose y and we're left with p raised to q then this one is 1 minus p raised to y and this is y equals to 0 equals to this one is infinity so now if you compare them they are similar except that this one has different variables so we can also make it equal to 1 so now we have our mean mean let me rewrite it in here r times 1 minus p over p we're ready for our derivation of variance we know the formula for variance variance is equal to expectation of, of square of x minus expectation of x squared and this is uh, equal to expectation of x squared minus square of expectation of x now we need a formula with the term expectation of x times x minus 1 
uh, we can have that if we try to distribute x with x minus 1, we'll get expectation of x squared minus x. And this one is expectation of x squared minus expectation of x. So we have for expectation of x squared, this is equal from the left, this one, expectation of x times x minus 1. And we can put this one to the left. But now here in at the right, we have plus expectation of x. Now we can use this term here to substitute it in here. So we have variance is equal to expectation of x times x minus 1 plus expectation of x for this one in here. Then we have minus square of expectation of x. We know expectation of x, this is equal to the mean, which is r times 1 minus p over p, and square of expectation of x is just square of this mean. So what we're going to do next is derive this term expectation of x times x minus 1. So by definition of expectation, we know that this is equal to summation of x times x minus 1 and probability mass function which is this one r plus x minus 1 chooses x p raised to r and 1 minus p raised to x and this is x equals to 0 to infinity so we have x equals to 0 to infinity so similar to mean, our derivation of mean we know that if x equals 0, this whole term will become 0. And if x equals 1, then 1 minus 1 equals 0, then this whole term will also be become 0. So what we're left with is x equals 2 to infinity. Now, I want to get the terms here. x times uh, x minus 1. And r plus x minus 1 chooses x. So these terms. And try to simplify it. So we have x times x minus 1, and then I want to expand the term with a combinatorial form. We have r plus x minus 1 factorial over r plus x minus 1 minus x is r minus 1 factorial, and we have x factorial. So this is equal to, uh, let us first try to expand x factorial, then this is x times x minus 1 times x minus 2, etc. until 1. So, this one, x minus 2 until 1 is x minus 2 factorial. So, we have x factorial is equal to x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 factorial. We're gonna do for, we're gonna do the same for r, but I'll start with r plus 1 factorial. Then we will have r plus 1, then r plus 1 minus 1 is r, then r minus 1, then r minus 2, keter until 1, but let's stop at r minus 1 factorial. So like this, then r minus 1 factorial, therefore, is equal to r plus 1 factorial over, we have r here, and r plus 1 by rearrangement of this uh, equation. Now we're gonna use our results for x factorial in here and r minus 1 factorial in here. So let's see what will be the result. We have x times x minus 1 and we have r plus x minus 1. We're gonna retain that and for r minus 1 factorial, we're gonna use this r plus 1 factorial over r times r plus 1 and we have x factorial we're gonna use this x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 factorial now we can cancel x and x minus 1 and we're left with uh, r times r plus 1 so I just put this one to the top then we have uh, r plus x minus 1 factorial over this one, r plus 1 
factorial and x minus 2 factorial but this one r plus 1 this terms here is equal to r plus x minus 1 chooses x minus 2 so because r plus x minus 1 we have here at the top and r plus x minus 1 minus x minus 2 is r plus 1 we have r let me show it in here minus x minus 2 this is equal to r plus x minus 1 minus x plus 2 this is equal to we can cancel x and we're left with 2 minus 1 is 1 so we have r plus 1 so we have r plus 1 factorial here and x minus 2 is in here now we can use this term here instead of these terms here so we get expectation of x times x minus 1 is equal to summation of so this whole term because they are equal so we have um, r times r plus 1 then r plus x minus 1 chooses x minus 2 then we have p raised to r 1 minus p raised to x this is x equals 2 to infinity so these terms here can be put outside of the summation because they are constant now um, we can then simplify it by using the same method that we have done for the mean that is summation of the probability mass function is equal to 1 let me write it in here so to see it clearly so summation of probability mass function which is this one let me have uh, r plus x minus 1 chooses x p raised to r 1 minus p raised to x this is x equals to 0 to infinity is equal to 1 so if you compare this one in here they are not exactly the same because x minus 2 is in here and this one is x so we can have transformation let y equals to x minus 2 and also try to transform also r r into another variable we can have r plus 2 and let's see the result afterwards we have expectation of x times x minus 1 is equal to summation of or say let's get the constants r times r plus 1 and this is summation of for this one so we have r plus x minus 1 so this one is x equals to y plus 2 by rearrangement and also r is is q minus 2 so r plus x minus 1 is equal to r is this one q minus 2 x is y plus 2 then we have minus 1 is equal to this is cancelled cancelled we have q plus y minus 1 so we have q plus y minus 1 and for x minus 2 we have y and p raised to r which is q minus 2 and 1 minus p x is y plus 2 so we already transformed x into y so this one x equals 2 will become y equals 2 when x equals 2 2 minus 2 equals to 0 so we have y equals 0 and infinity infinity minus 2 is also infinity now if we try to compare this one to this they are not exactly the same because this is r and this is q minus 2 and this x and this y plus 2 so similar to what we have done for the mean uh, we can factor out this term here into p raised to q and p raised to negative 2 because q minus 2 is q minus 2 here and also for this one so p raised to negative 2 can be moved out from the summation uh, similar to what we have done for the mean and also for this one we have 1 minus p raised to y and 1 minus p raised to 2 and this term can be moved out also from the summation so what we'll get is r times r plus 1 
and for the constant here we have 1 minus p raised to 2 and we have also another constant over p squared so we'll get to say summation so we'll get this one q plus y minus 1 chooses y and p raised to q is what is remaining and this one will get 1 minus p raised to y then this y equals to 0 will be the thing. now we have similar equation here so this one is equal to 1 so we get this term here for this uh, expression however this is not yet the mean or say not yet the variance because the variance is this formula so we can rewrite again the variance to make it clear so we have variance is equal to expectation of x times x minus 1 uh, plus expectation of x minus square of expectation of x that is this one variance now we're gonna substitute this is for our expectation of x times x plus 1 we have this one we have r times r plus 1 and 1 minus p raised to 2 over p squared then for expectation of x we know that that, that is equal to the mean which is this r times 1 minus p over p so we have r times 1 minus p over p and square of expectation of x is square of the mean we have squaring of the r times 1 minus p over p we can have the square now we can factor out this by r times 1 minus p over p now we have so we can move out r point minus p here and p so we're left with r plus 1 1 minus p over p so here here then for this one it's only one and this one we're gonna just remove the uh, square term we have r times 1 minus p over p so now we can simplify it by having a common denominator p so we have r times 1 minus p over p and we have uh, r plus 1 times 1 minus p plus so this term this term so we, have, we can have p over p there and minus r times 1 minus p so over p now we can close now the bracket so we have equal to let's try to simplify this we have r times 1 minus p now I can move out of this p into here we have p squared times so r plus 1 times 1 minus p is let me have r times 1 minus p we have r minus rp then 1 times 1 minus p is plus 1 minus p we have here plus p we have minus r times we have plus rp so we have minus r plus rp now we can cancel out this rp and rp here and p and negative p and plus p and r and negative r so we're left with one so we have a variance variance is equal to r times one minus p over p squared so that's our variance we are now ready for our derivation of the moment generating function for this distribution so we know already the formula for our moment generating function we know that this is equal to expectation of e raised to the x and expectation of e raised to the x is equal to summation of e raised to the x then our probability mass function which we're gonna use is from the first form we have r plus x minus 1 chooses x uh, p raised to r 1 minus p raised to x 
and this is x equals to 0 to infinity, so we have x equals to 0 to infinity. So we can move out this one because move out from the summation because it's a constant, and also we can collect uh, the terms with powers of x, which is e raised to the x and 1 minus p raised to x. So we can do it now p raised to r, and this is summation of uh, r plus x minus 1 chooses x, and for that, uh, with for those with the uh, Problems of x, we can have e raised to t and 1 minus p x. So this is x equals to 0 to infinity. Now uh, I want to um, I want to simplify this by using the um, our theorem, let's say Newton's binomial theorem binomial theorem uh, which expresses as let me have a variable z plus 1 and another variable m is the m is equal to summation of this is a m chooses i and we have z raised to i this is i equals to 0 to infinity so if you are still unclear with this theorem, uh, you can find uh, one of my video which derives this uh, theorem. Um, I have I have put the link in the description below, so you can check it out. So now uh, let's try to compare this one. It's not similar to this because we have a variable x in here, but also at the top, and here we have only at the bottom and not at the top so we can try to change this one into a form similar to this so let me have um, r plus x minus 1 chooses x and this one can be uh, ex expanded as r plus x minus 1 uh, factorial and r plus x minus 1 minus x is r minus 1 factorial and we have x factorial so this one is equal to, if we try to expand it, this is r plus x minus 1 uh, times r plus x minus 2. Because r plus x minus 1 minus 1 is this term, then etc. And let's stop until we can, we, our terms will be cancelled by the terms at the denominator. So we can have here as this is, um, only r because at r minus 1 until 1 will be cancelled by r minus 1 factorial. So over now we are removed already this r minus 1 factorial, so we're left with x factorial. So now I want to multiply each term by negative 1, and we can do that by first multiplying negative 1 the whole term with numbers of the term the numbers of terms here. So in order to make it clear. Before r, we have a, we have r plus 1, so that this one minus 1 minus 1 until r. Then this whole term here uh, is, has x minus 1 terms, because if we count from r plus 1 until this one, we can get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, until x minus 1. So there are x minus 1 terms for the terms here. And we have another term here, r. So the total term is x minus 1 plus 1 is x terms. So we have total of is x terms. So if I want to multiply negative 1 by uh, negative 1 for each term here, then I will, I will need also another one, negative 1 raised to number of terms. In this case, this is x then I can now multiply each term. So I have uh, r minus r minus x uh, plus 1. Then we have uh, negative r minus x plus 2, etc. until negative r minus 1. And this is negative r. So here, x factorial. And then uh, I want to rearrange this. Starting from the uh, last until the first. So I will get this is equal to negative 1 raised to x 
and I want to have negative r, then negative r minus 1, etc. until negative r minus x plus 2, negative r minus x plus 1. Um, so we have x factorial here. Now, um, if you observe carefully, this term here is just reduced by, by 1 until this one, this one is, this one is, this term minus 1, so until in here. But we can extend it until 1 if we try to multiply it by uh, this term minus 1, we can have negative r minus x, and this one negative r minus x minus 1 until 1. But in order to do that, we need also to multiply at the denominator. So this negative r minus x minus 1. So until 1. So now at the numerator, let me rewrite this one. The numerator will now become negative r factorial. So because negative r, negative r minus 1 until 1. And we have here negative r minus x until 1, so we have negative r minus x factorial, then we have x factorial in here. And this term here is equal also to negative 1 is to x, that we have this one is negative r cosas x. Because here negative r we have at the top, at the denominator, and negative r minus x is in here, and we have x in here. So now this term is a combinatorial form that has uh, that has, has no variable at the top, which is negative r is a constant, and similar to this. And for this one, this is similar to this, and we can combine it with in here. So we can do it now. Let's uh, substitute this one in terms of this term here. So we can have. Um, m sub x of t is equal to summation of or we need the constant p raised to r first we have p raised to r and we have this one we're gonna use negative 1 is to x and negative r which is x and we have this term here e is to t, 1 minus p is to x, and this is x equals to 0 to infinity. Now this is equal to, uh, let's combine uh, the terms with a similar problem sub x, so p raised to r and summation of um, negative r chooses x, and we have, we can put the negative 1 inside in here, negative e raised to t, and 1 minus p raised to x, then this is x equals to 0 to infinity. Now this one is similar to that. Let us make it clearer. Let's transform it. Let um, we have the variable uh, z as this term. Let z is equal to negative e is to t 1 minus p and for x we have i let uh, i equals to x and for our m m this is i so we have negative r here so we have m is equal to negative r so now we get m sub x of t is equal to p raised to r and summation of m this is m x we have i and for this one this whole term is z so x is i and we have x is i equals to zero until infinity now this term here is equal to this term so we have z plus one raised to m now we can do that is equal to p raised to r then z plus 1 raised to m. Now we can bring back our um, variables. We can have p raised to r and z stands for this term. 
negative e raised to t 1 minus p then plus 1 and m is negative r so we can rearrange it make it more beautiful let me have this one will become denominator because it's negative so you have p raised to r over so let me write first the one with positive then we have minus a raised to t times 1 minus p uh, raised to r also you can write it as p raised to 1 minus e raised to t 1 minus p this is r so this is our moment generative function for the negative binomial distribution for the first form so this is it We're now ready to derive the mean, the variance, and the moment generative function for the second form. We're not going to repeat the same procedures that we have done for the first form, but we're gonna use the results here and use transformation for, to derive them for the second form. So now let's start. Uh, let's recall the, the, the expectation of AIX plus B where a and b are constants and x is a random variable this is equal to a expectation of x plus b and variance of a x plus b this is equal to x a squared of variance of x and for moment generating function This is equal to e raised to bt um, m of x of et. So since we're gonna use this one, y equals to x plus r, then a equals to 1 and b is equal to r. So we're gonna do that. So we have expectation of y. This is equal to expectation of x plus r so a equals 1 and b equals r so we have expectation of x plus r and expectation of x is this one so we have r times 1 minus p over p plus r and we can simplify it uh, common denom denominator as p so we can multiply this uh, in here at the numerator p and divided by p we can have rp over p so we have r times 1 minus p plus rp then we can uh, distribute r with 1 minus p we have r minus rp plus rp over p we can cancel out rp here we have r over p for our expectation of y which is for the second form now for variance so we have variance of y. This is variance of x plus r. And this is um, a squared variance of x and a equals 1. So we have variance of x. So they are the same. So this is equal to r times 1 minus p over p squared. Then for our moment generating function, we have... Uh, m sub y of t this is equal to uh, m of x plus r of t and we know that b is equal to r so we have e raised to bt then mx and a equals 1 so we have mx of t so we have e raised to bt or say this is r so we can change it to r so this is r let me clean it up this is rt and our moment generating function this one for the x we have P over 1 minus ET 
is raised to t 1 minus p and this is r so let me check this one and this one okay then we can collect similar powers of r we have uh, p e raised to t and this one 1 minus e raised to t 1 minus p then power of r so we have our moment generating function for the second form